happy belated inauguration day here in the U.S. Well, for me, it is one day after the inauguration. I have no idea when you're going to listen to this. So, anyway, happy belated inauguration day. The uh, the voters of the U.S. have happily inaugurated a new president. There was a peaceful transfer of power, backed up by 25,000 National Guard troops. I'm really not sure how peaceful that is. I'll probably throw up if I hear anybody say peaceful transfer of power in the future. So the voters all got together. They all picked one of these guys. And yesterday was his day. A couple of days before this inauguration, I was driving to work. I just came back from vacation. Vacation from work. I didn't actually go anywhere because I had a lot of things to do around here. and Did some work on the car. And my car was running really nicely. So I decided, you know what? Today on my way in, I'm not listening to the radio, which will have news on it, which will just put me in a bad mood. I think I'll listen to a CD. Mm-hmm. So, Doug, you might not know what a CD is. It's a round disc that you stick into the dash of your car, and it spins around, and as it spins around, a laser picks up uh, reflections off of that disc, off of that disc, converts it into an electrical signal, which gets sent to a speaker, and then the speaker converts the electrical signal into sound for your ears to perceive. I say that because looking at the stats of my podcast, there are some younger people and they may have no idea what a CD is, for all I know. So, I'm listening to this CD and the CD was from a... um, It was by a band who probably many people listening to this podcast have never heard of even though at one time they were popular as a group and popular individually. But it was recorded while they were on tour. I think it was recorded like in Manhattan or something. And I actually went to see this this group when they were touring that year. And I saw them in Fort Dodge, Iowa. A little north of Des Moines. I think it was Fort Dodge. Anyway, big school there. This was in a football stadium. Wow, I hope that guy didn't wipe out the fence. Well, he kept going anyway. It was in a football stadium, big place. And a group of friends and I decided we'd load up, we would take a trip up there. It was a, man, it was a long drive too. It was like 12, 14, 18 hours or something. I mean, it was crazy from where we were at in Arkansas. We made a two-day trip out of it. And as I'm driving down the road, listening to this CD, I'm thinking back on on the good times, right? And I'm thinking, man, looking at all of the bad things that are happening in society right now, masks, people been rioting for a, a year solid, police killing unarmed people, some people supporting those kind of actions, some people fighting those kind of actions, economies up, economies down, government closed down, a lot of businesses, even the places, even the place I worked, at least for a while. And I'm thinking, you know, I've been thinking, this is terrible, you know, this is like the worst time ever. I was almost thinking like those people who are like, oh, this is the most important, the most important um, election of our lifetime, right? And that's how I was kind of feeling is that, man, things are bad, you know, and I wish things were more like they were back in the mid-90s when I went to see this band. And there, there's two songs on that, on that particular CD. It's a, it's a two CD set, and I had both the CDs in the, in the car, and both were playing. But as I'm listening to one of them, it's called Domino. It kind of made me, it kind of got me thinking about it. And then another song came on, and it was Land of Confusion, and it, it hit me like a ton of bricks, and it should have hit me like a ton of bricks. This is nothing new. What's going on, the the strife and the fighting between the Reds and the Blues 
and the people who consider themselves morally upstanding conservatives versus the um, the immoral liberals it, it's it's been going on forever you know here I am thinking about how great it was in the mid 90s right but then when you think about it um, you know flashback there was the Persian Gulf War there was Mogadishu in Somalia there was Waco Texas there was Ruby Ridge there was an assault weapons ban there was a five-day waiting period on handgun purchases the domestic terrorist of the day was Timothy McVeigh when he went and blew up a federal building in Oklahoma and he killed like 168 people there were school shootings one of these school shootings happened just miles from my house. I could, I was working outside that day, and I could hear the emergency vehicles, the sirens from those, as they went out to West Side School. Was it any different? Has it been any different? No, they've, they've been playing us this way for all of our lives. That's what they depend on. It's it's how they live. It's it's how the Bidens and the Obamas and the Bushes, the Clintons. It's it's how they survive. They get their power and their money off of our backs. Okay, so if you haven't listened to the podcast before, hello, my name is Richard and I'm an anarchist. I'm I'm not the kind of guy. It's not a scary word. I'm not the kind of guy who goes around throwing Molotov cocktails. Or, uh, you know, I don't go around busting windows or starting dumpster fires or damaging private property. I just want to be left alone. I want to be left alone to do my thing, and I want to leave you alone alone to let you do your thing. So to those of you who are still staunch supporters of must-have government and Constitution this and Supreme Court that and we need this and we need that, I'm not trying to scare you guys. I, I would not take that away from you. If you want to follow one of these old guys, Biden or Trump, I really think you should have the ability to do whatever those men tell you to do. I think that should be your freedom. You should be able to give them as much of your money as they tell you you need to give them. Do everything that they say. I just don't think you have the right to force me to do the same. 